Will, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. So we're about, oh, maybe 20 minutes or so before the first rollout of uh, results. With that said, uh, I'm with Jevin Hodge. He's the vice chair of Arizona Democratic Party. You still like what you're seeing today. Yes. Tell me why. Yes, we have tremendous investment from folks who are activated and motivated for the first time. New political volunteers, new political candidates. We have new political awareness. So uh, we have, uh, I was at ASU earlier today and I saw students walking in their ballots, hundreds of students walking in their ballots. So regardless of what's showing right now, we're going to see a surge as we saw in the last few days of ballot returns. We're going to see uh, uh, the investment and involvement from the last two years pay off. Uh, with folks tonight. And we're seeing a couple of Senate races that were supposed to be close on the East Coast and in the Midwest that may be tilting Republican. Uh, you concerned about uh, the, the race here between Kirsten Cinema and Martha McSally? Not at all one bit. Not at all one, but Kirsten Cinema one, is the voice that Arizona needs to represent them in the United States Senate, but two, has ran an incredible campaign on the issues and engaging and activating new people to participate in the process. In the last few months, what has stood out to you more than anything as you look at the run-up to this election? Yeah, the investment of young people. When you see... When you see that we have individuals that are activating for the first time, volunteering for campaigns for the first time ever, uh, young people are, are participating at a, at a brand new, uh, a non-precedented race. This is unprecedented for their involvement and their investment. Now, as we hear some results come in for other House races across the country, going Democrat, we're getting applauses. NBC is projecting that the House will go to yep. the Dems. The Dems will take over the House. What does that mean for someone like you? Yeah, it means that we have now a check in Congress on the president and that our investment, regardless of what happens here in Arizona, pays off nationally. That Democrats around the country know that their involvement and their investment and they, they've received the dividends on, on all of the hours and, and, and energy and emotion that they've invested into their candidates and party. We've got five big statewide races from governor down to the school superintendent yep. and, uh, and those in between. Yep. But what are you looking at as, as you're most optimistic as tonight to see go the Democrats' way? Yeah, um, we have uh, a very strong candidates all the way down the ticket. And let's not forget Bill Pierce, the mine inspector. He's run, a, he's run an incredible race. He's run okay. an incredible race. And I will say this, all of our statewide candidates will be competitive tonight. We have Sandra Kennedy, who served on the Corporation Commission, who was the top vote getter in the primary. That's going to be incredibly, uh, uh, performing incredibly well tonight. We have Kathy Hoffman, who is uh, uh, running two, two first-time candidates running head-to-head. -head. But we have an educator that is ready to lead our education system, uh, uh, January Contreras. We have a great slate of individuals that are leading the ticket and they're going to win. Jeb, you've seen a few of these elections in the past. I have. Uh, Democrats have walked away empty-handed or nearly empty-handed. This is still Arizona at yep. the end of the day. Is there a such thing as moral victories after tonight's over? Well, I'll tell you, yes, there are always moral victories. There is never a loss as long as you learn from it. And I can say that we have laid the, the, a solid foundation to develop the new infrastructure of the Arizona Democratic Party. I'll throw a statistic at you. Uh, in the last weekend alone, we had over 4,000 volunteers that were activated for the first time. In the last few weekends, we've knocked over a million doors. We've made over a million phone calls. We have people that are ready and excited. So regardless of what happens, you will see a new Arizona Democratic Party moving forward now I gotta say I don't know if we can show your socks <laughs> let's see if we can but get if, up you, there. if you can pull them up here guys these are Jevin's socks he's wearing tonight the significance of the superhero socks hey, they're good luck they're good luck they give me my power tonight and they give me the power for the Demo I'm wearing the Democratic blue suit with okay. my Superman socks so that's how you know we're bringing the luck tonight <laughs> okay he, he's the Democrat of steel he is feeling good feeling powerful Tell you what, 20 minutes will say a lot. We'll right. start to see some of these numbers. I'll be back. Guys, Joe, thanks, I, Jevin. I, I, I really Thank like those socks. Yeah, those are sharp. Those are sharp. Maybe you need to get a pair, Joe. <laughs>